better to be part of our morning dish than the one and only Rachel Ray seen weekdays right here on AZ TV Channel 7 at 4 o'clock. And I got to recently hang out with her. Take a look at this. Your new book talks about you growing up cooking your memoirs and of course recipes in here, family members. Yeah, it's, it's not, amazing. It's, it's really, it's my 26th book, but it's the only book that I've ever sat down and truly just written about life. The point of the book is not to be a memoir, it's to show people that anybody could be a Rachel Ray. And the, the book is about the way I was raised in a multi-generation immigrant family and learning the value of work itself. Learning from a very early age to respect work. Yeah. Um, I, my first job, legal job, was <laughs> um, being a dish machine operator. You have to learn to love that and be the best dish machine operator possible and value it and go home happy about it. No matter how tired you are or hard the day was, that's the key to it. And if you do that in, in this country, an opportunity will present itself no matter what your job is. All right, so a fan was wondering, you do all this cooking and you, of course, talk, of course, being healthy and different things, but do you have like a, how can we say, like a, a go-to um, comfort food? Like, do you have like Taco Bell, Chipotle? No, I, mean, no? Do you I, I live in the mountains when I'm not at work. I live in the Adirondack Mountains. You have to drive way far to get to, I don't even know where there's a Taco Bell. Like I think I'd have to go to Albany or at least Saratoga. At home people, you have to realize it's not just about her talking about, but there's actually recipes in there that you have 125 like, really... recipes that you wouldn't see on TV. Yeah. This book is what I make in my home and what I make when I have more time. Right. What one do you recommend since I'm impatient in a way to, to cook something? Because I'm gonna cook it right on our show. I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna cook one of your My meals. husband's favorite, carbonara. It's very basic. Okay. And there's a trick to it. It's tempering the egg. You whip up the yolks and you have to temper the egg with the boiling water. Yeah. But if you can master carbonara, you can master anything and it makes you feel like, very, it's got a machismo to it. It's very sexy. Okay. And the trick is to add the boiling water right before you drain okay. the pasta. Okay. Slowly, slowly, piano, piano, as you're whisking. Piano, I got piano, piano. Piano, 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 piano. step by step, slowly, okay. slowly, okay? okay and you bring the temperature of the eggs up so they don't scramble when you toss the spaghetti okay. with the sauce. Okay. okay, I like that. And there's no cream in carbonara. The creaminess comes from the eggs being properly managed in the dish. Okay. You can Last do this. I can do it. And I want you to send me tape. Well, I, okay, yes. Okay. Because I have to ask. see this. So the two questions, and my if last you, questions. And if you master it, maybe I'll buy you a plane ticket to New York and you can come and cook with us there. Okay. All right. Since we're a family and affiliates looking, well, and all. That. Yeah, we are. Remember, you can watch Rachel Ray right here on <laughs> AZ TV Channel 7 um, every day, weekday, so it's great. Will you sign it for me? And then, then I know you have sure. doodling in these. These are actually all this your This is not actually, doodles. These are, this is the, how I write every book and every television show and everything I cook for my family. Oh, I wow. keep composition notebooks. And these are all of my notebooks or the end papers. Well, not all, like a very small smattering of the thousands of notebooks that live in my cellar. I'm so honored. All right, I'm very honored and of course. How would you like it signed? I'm assuming he's re-gifting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Rachel Ray show. I'm going to Rachel Ray show. I'm hoping uh, if I do, of course, uh, cook what's on page 90 and we have plans on doing it. So you're going to want to definitely watch that segment. But tomorrow you want to catch part two of my interview with Rachel Ray because she is talking about pets and what she does with them and how she's helping out adoption.